Hi guys, welcome back. So I haven't uploaded for maybe like a week or so. Um, basically because I've been in Colorado, I went to visit my family, I haven't been home since last August, so it's been quite some time, and for reasons I won't get into, I just really wanted to be there and be present and enjoy them. I did kind of film a little vlog, so I might be uploading that of just some pretty footage of Colorado. But I wanted to kick things back off with doing just a Q&A. I asked you guys on my community tab a few weeks ago to send me some questions, but I did get a lot of questions, so many that I don't think I will have nearly enough time to answer them all right now. But I thought I would go through and just pick out some of the more frequently asked ones and just share a little bit more chill video about my life with you guys because I also know there's a lot of new people here which is so awesome um, and yeah so you can know a little bit more about my personal life and my thoughts I'm just gonna get right into it so what is my favorite thing about New York the funny thing about New York is when you leave, you miss it, but then sometimes when you're here, you don't appreciate it as much, which happens with a lot of places, but I did just get back from a trip, so I'm kind of on a high of like loving New York again. I would say my favorite thing is just the amount of different people that you're exposed to. I feel like I've grown so much as a person being able to interact with so many different kinds of people, hear different viewpoints from people, and just have a better understanding of what life is like for other people and not just like having my own perspective. I feel like that's really changed since I moved here and like have been able to be in a culturally diverse place um, and not just like only understand people that like in my hometown, which is very small. And most people kind of think the same, they kind of act the same. And just like getting to experience that firsthand has really, helped me be like a more understanding person. There's a lot of other reasons why I love New York, but that's probably one of my favorite ones. So there are a bunch of questions kind of about my future plans, career plans. I'm not sure if I've answered this before, but what do you want your future career to be or what do you want to be? So right now I am hoping to go into doing YouTube full time. I have tried to do this in the past and failed and now I feel like I'm at a point again where I want to try to do it full time. I seriously love making videos. This is my favorite thing to do and to be able to do it full time would be crazy. I've been on YouTube for like four years for those of you who are new. Um, some of my older videos are privated, but yeah, I truly just have always loved YouTube and it's crazy to get to a point where I actually feel like it's plausible for me to be able to do it full time. This also means more, potentially more sponsored videos. I hope you guys really don't mind. I always work with sponsors who are right up my alley, who I actually genuinely use and love and adore. You guys know that, I'm sure, whatever. I just thought I'd mention that. Or what do I want to be in the future? I don't know if I'll be on YouTube forever and ever, or if that's even a choice, but I would love to do more film work in the future, like directing films for maybe like other companies or just doing more like film work outside of YouTube. And I mentioned this before, I also would love to create my own line, which I am working on. It's, I don't want to give too many details away, but I'm not sure when that will come. I'm still like finishing my last year of school and trying to figure out how much time I'll reasonably have. but. If I do YouTube full time, maybe I'll have enough time to start getting that in motion. Years from now, I just picture myself living around a body of water, whether it's the ocean or a river or a lake, and having a bunch of animals and gardening and maybe like owning a restaurant or something like that. Like years from now, I'm not sure. That's like maybe my end goal if things really change. How do I budget my income? I have gotten a ton of questions about that or like how do I save up for New York? How do I live? How am I living basically? And how am I paying for it? Because those are very valuable questions because I would also wonder that if I hadn't moved here yet and New York is wildly expensive especially going home i kind of realized that again where i'm like whoa everything is way more expensive in new york say i've been working 
a job or two since I've been 15 so I was saving up money then and then there were a few summers where I was working two different restaurant jobs at the same time I literally like would go to a shift in the morning and then switch and go to my other restaurant job at night and do that like so many days a week to be able to save up while I was also doing YouTube and then I moved here and I was working full-time at Reformation so that was like 40 hour weeks and now I kind of am juggling in my income between YouTube and also working at a vintage store slash Depop slash a few other like small streams of income I would say my biggest thing is not being frivolous with my money and just trying to really weigh the pros and cons. My biggest like things for losing money quickly is eating out, like tried and true. Eating out here is very expensive. It always ends up to be more than you think it is, especially when you're out with friends. It just adds up really quickly. And so I've majorly tried to cut down doing that, even if it means like not going out with my friends as much and not being able to see them as much. It just isn't something that was realistic for me to be doing all the time. Not buying as many clothes whatsoever as I like used to be able to. And especially in this like transition period of trying to do YouTube full time, my income has not been super steady or whatever. Um, so I have been like just trying to scrape by and like make sure I can pay rent, make sure I can do all my necessities and pay bills and stuff like that. I'm not as good at like setting up actual budgets and categories. It's more like I'll give myself a allotted amount of money I can spend for the week. And I usually buy groceries right away. So it's like, I know I have enough food to last me for the week. And then I like buy any of my basic necessities right away with the money. And then whatever I have left over, I will spend on doing fun shit so that's basically how I do it some people can break down their budgets by like I'm gonna spend this much this month and like write it all in a spreadsheet and that just does not work for my brain I just don't like doing that but that's basically how I do it of just like making sure that I always and am able to pay for food shelter water transportation things like that and then if I have money left over I'll spend it on fun things. Okay, could you guys tell us more about you and Tyler? I love you guys together. You seem to have such a genuine connection. What's your love story? Love this question. If you guys don't know, Tyler is my boyfriend and he helps me film some of my videos from time to time. I don't wanna give away our whole story just yet. I might do a boyfriend tag with him if you guys want it, um, let me know in the comments if you would want one. Um, we have a pretty funny story actually of how we met, but it's just too long to get into right now. I am just really lucky. He is the best. We've been dating for about a year and a half now. But yeah, if you guys want him to like come, come in the channel and do a little debut, I will ask him to do so, but just let me know. What's my coffee order? I, if I'm feeling bougie, I get an iced almond milk latte. And if I'm not, I usually just get a cold brew. Um, even in the winter, I drink iced coffee if I get it out, um, just because I like it better. How do you deal with burnout, especially when you're stressed with schoolwork and you know you have to get it done? So I got a lot of questions about like dealing with burnout, being burnout. And this is definitely something I deal with frequently. I find myself to be a pretty creative person, but it can get really hard to like constantly expect the best from yourself and then have to be doing it over and over because that just leads to becoming burnout because you're always pushing yourself to like do the best and then if you don't, you don't meet your expectations and that will lead to feeling bad about yourself because you're not meeting your own expectations. So I feel like I deal with this by trying to realize when I don't feel inspired and there have just been so many times, especially with like videos that I film a whole video, I spend the whole day doing it but I know the day I was doing it, I wasn't feeling inspired. I was feeling like kind of upset or frustrated and that always shows. And there have just been so many times that I spent a whole day, wasted a whole day, like turned down different plans. And then I go to look at the footage at the end of the day and I absolutely hate the video. I scrap it and then I have to redo it. So I try not to do that as best as I can. If I have like the leeway to maybe film it a different day, I will 
switch and try to do something else productive that day. If I know I'm just like not in the mood to film and I'm not feeling creative or inspired, I will try to get something else done. I feel like just like keeping yourself busy but not too busy and then also cut like cutting yourself a break and maybe refocusing your energy on other productive things if you aren't into it specifically then and then maybe later on you can just like swap what you're focusing on always kind of works for me my favorite meals using meat substitutes like jackfruit tvp seitan tempeh etc my favorite meals so i do like tofu um stir fries with tofu is like my go-to because it's just super easy i mix it with like broccoli and then maybe i'll make like a peanut sauce on top it's just really easy and super delicious jackfruit is so good i make jackfruit tacos with rose all the time um and we just do like jackfruit you can buy in a can at trader joe's and then you just shred it up put barbecue sauce or any kind of like seasoning on top and then you put it in tacos and all the toppings and it's so good i use tvp which is something that i recently started using which is textured vegetable protein and it is so good mixed with marinara sauce on spaghetti like my mouth is watering just thinking about it right now because it makes it taste like a bolognese like it just tastes meaty and like the texture is really good so that's what i use that for people keep asking about roommates too so how did i find my roommates did you click instantly or was it hard to get used to each other's habits i've been very blessed by the roommate gods of i met rose and isabel through our fit facebook page three years ago and we all just kind of chatted on there for a while and was like, yeah, let's be roommates. This seems cool. And we all like lived in a little quad together with our other roommate, Nicole, but she doesn't live in New York anymore. And yeah, I would say I'm probably the messiest out of all of them. I'm definitely the messiest. And so I think that they are really loving by putting up with my habits of not being the like always the cleanest. Just little things like that. But I think that we're all really lucky with None of us really have like tempers that flare up for the most part and just like we've never really gotten into like huge fights or anything. I'm just really lucky. We've lived together for three years and it's been blissful and great and really not any big problems whatsoever. Where did the name where I live come from? So screen names can be so hard. You guys, I, my old name on YouTube used to be my stained lips which I just like laugh at myself that I thought that was like cute <laughs> but I switched it probably like three years ago to where I live because my inspiration there was because I knew I was very interested in fashion but I'm also very interested in like travel our environment like living so I kind of wanted to mix in in a punny way I mean I know this isn't the best where I live isn't like the best name either and I've occasionally contemplated just like changing it to my name but I do like the name where I live because I think it sums up what I'm interested in is living the environment and also what I'm wearing while I'm doing it so that was kind of like my inspiration at first of why I chose that name. There are a lot of questions about my favorite songs. I will link my Spotify below because I just feel like there are too many. There is a question asking, what is one song that you hold most near and dear to your heart? So one of my just like favorite songs of all time is Rip It Up by Orange Shoes. Like that song immediately just puts me in such a good mood. But I finally figured out how to link my Spotify, so I'll actually put it in the description with a link this time so you guys can actually go follow my playlist because I make playlists a lot on there. Someone asked, are you happy with a sunflower? I thought this was a really nice question. I am pretty happy. Honestly, like the past four or five months have really lifted my spirits. I think I finally got out of or began to get out of a depression that I've been dealing with for years and years that for a long time I didn't even realize that was happening. It was just had been going on for so long that I 
didn't even know or I kind of knew but I never really dealt with it and I think now I'm finally like starting to come to terms with my life and just in the past few months I think I've kind of been able to lift myself up a little bit better than I used to be capable of and yeah so I'd say I'm pretty happy right now are you an introverted or extroverted person this is funny when I was back at home all of my family was like you're the extroverted person you are definitely extroverted by the way they saw me because most of my family is very introverted and I used to be very extroverted I thought but the thing is I know some people define um, whether or not you're introverted or extroverted of how you like recharge like what makes you feel recharged after the situation where there are situations where I just like come to life around other people and I'm able to like really be outgoing and happy and loud but there are also tons of situations that I just thrive being alone and I also definitely recharge by being alone so like when I'm sad or like need to regroup I like want to be alone I don't want to be around anyone I'm very happy being alone where some of my friends like look to like go meet up with people to chat with their close friends to like do all these other things and like feel better after like being out with people where if I'm out with people I need to go spend time alone afterwards in order to like re get myself together so I would say I'm more introverted than extroverted but I do have some tendencies that that definitely give me some qualities of an extrovert so i wouldn't say i'm like totally one or the other i also got tons of questions about my style icons and like who i follow on instagram so i'm actually just gonna link all of my like instagrams that i really love down in the description box instead of trying to pronounce all of these like Instagram handles because that really doesn't do much good for you anyways and it just takes up more time. Favorite thrift stores in New York? This has been kind of on my nerves because I feel like I haven't been doing that great of thrifting within the city because everything's just kind of expensive and picked over and it's just like New York thrifting isn't really actually that great. Um, I guess some places are good, but I always go to like 10 feet single. I go to, I'll go to like the L train vintage and like all of their, they kind of have like different um, branches. I go to Goodwill in Queens sometimes. Yeah, I'm kind of like at a weird standstill of like not going thrifting that often here because of those reasons. I did just get so much stuff at home thrifting that I had to ship bought like ship back to New York in a box so I will have a haul on that very soon for some vegan places that I like in the city I love champs diner everyone goes there I'm a big fan of by Chloe their foods just really good and not like overly expensive in the city there's beyond sushi which is a vegan sushi spot that's seriously so good I think it's at the Chelsea market so if you guys are like visiting New York that's a really good vegan spot to check out. There's a place called Mother of Pearl, I think, that's supposed to be really good. I've actually never been there, but a lot of people rave about it. Um, there's another place called Modern Love that's in like kind of East Williamsburg that is super good and they have a super good brunch. Yeah, I'll list any others I think about below. Um, and lastly, I will answer this question. I got so many questions on here that I just won't have time to answer but I might do a part two to this because there are so many good questions on here um, so what made you first transition towards a more sustainable ethical lifestyle and how has living in NYC helped hindered accelerated etc for your journey so I think that living in New York City initially re-sparked this most of my life though my parents like never labeled or even necessarily are sustainable or like claim to be sustainable a lot of the things that they taught me when i was younger was to reuse things a lot of these principles that were put on me when i was younger just kind of stuck with me even though they weren't necessarily necessarily like marketed as sustainable so i feel like i was kind of raised in that scenario because my dad is older and like grew up during the great depression and it's just very used to not having much so it was always like we were taught to conserve things especially in fashion though when i moved to new york i was just really like shocked at 
seeing the industry first and so coming here was really 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 eye-opening and i just realized how much was being pumped out like over and over again and it just was almost disgusting to me like how much i consumed how much people consume and i was like i just will not be a part of this and that's when i started thrifting a lot more and through that journey i've kind of gone through phases of like my first phase was i was shopping a lot at those stores and then I switched to shopping a lot at thrift stores and then I switched to just like not shopping as much and then I uh, now I'm at a point that I kind of mix in like for one like buying things new because I do think it's important to still um, support brands that are doing things the right way and we still have to have people out there making things and creating things but i think it's more important to shop consciously and not do it all the time like saving up my money to buy nicer things instead of buying a bunch of things that i now no longer have and also like thrifting in moderation and trying not to do it all the time even though i did just do a massive thrift haul when i was in colorado but that's because i go there once a year and the thrifting's really cheap but yeah so kind of just like to a point of doing it in moderation I still never shop at fast fashion stores, but you guys have probably noticed I have been shifting a little bit more towards like trying to highlight brands that are doing things the right way because I feel like in the position I have right now, I have decided I really want to take it upon myself to help share these other brands that are and like small designers who are really passionate about their craft and passionate about creating a business that is sustainable and like ethically produced and like making sure that we're treating all people with respect and making sure that people have living wages and aren't like pretty much working in conditions that they have no choice over. Living in New York has helped because I'm surrounded by a lot of like-minded people. It has hurt my like sustainable lifestyle because it's not like you're in cars, it's not like you can keep all your like sustainable gear in your car and then take it out when you need to. It's like, I might be gone in like three different places for hours in one day and then I have to, when I leave the house I have to carry around a bag with me with all of the things that I might need which makes me just like a walking pack mule and so I would say that's kind of makes it harder to be sustainable here but there's also like public transportation, like I don't drive anymore. I I guess I do like when I take cars and stuff, but that is a lot more rare than me driving everywhere before. And I would say it's just helped because it's enabled me to have my own opinions on things because I totally knows what it know what it feels like to be in a smaller community that makes you feel like you have to conform to everyone else because it's much more noticeable when you have different opinions. Especially going back home recently, I realized like that I dress a little bit differently when I'm there because I try not to stick out, which probably isn't the best example, but I just noticed that I find myself still feeling like I have to conform um, when I'm in other situations where in New York, I literally wear whatever I wanna wear all the time i say what i feel like i want to say and i just have been i've just become a lot more sure of myself and my beliefs because of living here um i think accelerated it it could have happened where i was before but i think it just makes it easier to like find your own path and like learn from a bunch of different people and then take in the information and like decide what opinions and beliefs you have. Yeah, so this is gonna be a long ass video. I'm so sorry, but hopefully you guys enjoy this. If you want me to do a follow up or talk more on any of these topics, please let me know. I also get a ton of New York related questions. So I think I'm gonna slowly talk through these in some upcoming vlogs. So if I didn't answer your question on New York, I will probably be doing that soon or I'll just make a separate New York specific Q&A because I always get tons of questions about that and I just didn't want to make this like all about one thing. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I love you guys so much. I seriously am so grateful for all of your support always. It's insane. 
I also just am so inspired by so many of you that I get to talk to and like listen to what you guys believe in. It seriously is amazing and cool and I'm so happy that I have this community and I hope that this helps you guys like build a community with one another and with me and yeah, I'm just very grateful, but I will see you so soon in the next one. When I first saw you, something stirred within me. You were standing so sweetly.